No, stay out of my pockets. I'm getting better until... New skills, new dangers. I can rock your socks off. Move out, losers. I'm the best.
The poor get poorer. Thanks. Is this for me, really? What's in there? Ah, my bag. Crap, what a mess. Cool, I won't look like such a nerd. How ironic for a thief to empty his own pockets. If it stinks, it's my boots. It's impolite to search the royal lady's dress. Hands off my gold, my precious. What do you want, peasant? Do I have something to jot down some quick notes? How can people put their hands in my pockets? Good day to you, Master. We are adventurers and... I was expecting you! Really? Yes, I'm Minron Fier, consulting Archmage. I possess an intrinsic ability for subastral divinatory foresight. I'm sorry, but what's a consulting Archmage? 
let's just say that people hire me as an advisor in arcana and wizardry, but also for political demagogy and organizational entropy. Hmm, does it pay well? My rates start at 5,000 gold coins per day. Ah, <coughs> well, well, that's a number. Uh, to be frank, we're in need of assistance, and... We can't drop 5,000 coins on this guy, are you crazy? I mean, it's a bit above our means. How effective is your stuff? As a ranger, you are versed in participative management based on the valorization of your exploratory collective's interpersonal skills, aren't you? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, that was a question, right? I can assist you in developing synergies for the gross margin of the implementation of your combat skills in order to optimize your multi-partner company's return on investment. Wizardry. He's trying to mesmerize us. Ah, I gather you are restricted in a pecuniary sense. Might I suggest you lend me a hand with a discreet matter? Secrecy. Another concept that's not really compatible with honesty. I was dragged into a recreational activity with a pecuniary incentive, the kind that involves illustrated cardboard rectangles, in a place reproved by morality. Wait, wait, let me get this straight. Huh. You played cards in a gambling den? Ah, that would be an oversimplification. I left a frighteningly long list of IOUs in a den of iniquity run by greenskins sighted in the cellars of this dungeon. If you could wipe out the aforesaid debt by means of gold, deadly force, rules, or arcana, I'd be much obliged to your party. How big a debt are we talking about? Huh, that is a trivial consideration. We will do what we can, my lord. The secret password to get inside the den situated in the basement is Maracas. I must highlight that in order to obtain our assistance, you'll also need the approval of my associate, Le Munster, who's currently busy in the kitchen. What? Another wizard? Consider yourselves lucky. Ordinarily, there are three of us, but our third companion is at the moment carrying out a freelance mission. I hate being swindled like this, but we'll save 5,000 gold. A word, youngsters. <clears throat> There's a possibility that you might stumble on a peculiar sword in the gambling den, one that bears my name. I'm counting on your discretion about this matter. We'll be as quiet as the grave. You absolute dafty. I know you opened my chicken coop. You won't be surprised when the barns start fucking burning. Don't point your fat finger at me, you headless cock. You ain't got no fucking proof. No more than whining a cow's teeth. You're the only bastard that could have opened the cages. What with being jealous of my hens. A whole brood of twisted fail blue barbezos. Those plucked scrawny pigeons ain't winning nothing. But most drook it rag with those. I will win the contest. I got me some Bulgarton wee silkies and glad golden dumpies. Pa! Shite birds with rather see dead in a life in such misery. Wait till I get me a chicken pack, you jobby crows breeder. Say that again, I'm going to scalp your behind. Come on, calm down and tell us what's the matter. The matter is this lavy hide here. Lost me beautiful chickens and I can run for the best crooked veils breeder. I think ye howling birds went and locked their own heads off. <laughs> the poor f***ers. I know my way around gathering chickens. Is there a reward? Obviously, you like it. Get me chicken back, and which fairy will go no past you. I must warn you, if he gives you a chicken, boil it for three days at least, or I don't ken what'll happen to your guts. Your booms out the window. Hello there. Are you Mid Branthir's colleague? I am. Le Munster, Archmage of Gouda, Great Cheesart of Fang. What do you want? We were sent here by your colleagues to humbly offer our help. Ah, interesting. What's a cheesart? I'm a firm believer in cheeses, and thus collect them. My life's work has been writing Wikimember, the universal encyclopedia of cheese. No offense, but what's the connection between cheese and wizardry? For example, consider a cheese made from the milk of a cow which is grazed on the ruins of Xora's fortress. The maggots developing in this cheese can be used to raise an army of undead. Ew, that's horrible! Oh, wow. I mean, that's a thing, I guess. Anyway, you were saying you wanted to work for me? 
It's not like we had a choice. The idea is to lend you a hand, so your group of wizards will assist us in our quest. I see. It so happens that I am in need of help. The chef owns a cheese of great renown, but he won't sell it to me at a decent price. Talk about cheese, Bluetooth. It's a wheel of Glarg cheese. I've tried making him a reasonable offer, but the conversation became heated with that panini head and... And you need some anonymous strangers to alleviate him of his property through means of questionable legality. I don't care about the particulars, but if you were to stumble, by chance, on this cheese, I'd be dairy grateful. <laughs> dairy grateful. Cheesy humor. We'll get to the center of this cheese wheel. Be sure of it. I'll be waiting for you in the VIP room, with impatience and some walnut bread. You should always note your escape routes on a map. What are the chickens we have to gather? A chicken's a chicken. It's a crooked veil blue barbazoos. It's freaking obvious they're blue. So you are a foul expert. Impressive. I just see an ugly chicken. <laughs> Says he doesn't care about what color it is. The taste is the same. Well, oh, great. It's broken. <laughs> A trap. Got to note its location. Beware. Curiosity sometimes kills the cat, then burns it to ashes. Dwarf's carved maps are granite. Heavier, but sturdier.
let's update the map. Let us pray, lazy ass brothers and sisters in boredom. Uh, bedtime. Holy cow, this is making me real sleepy. By the quilt of oblivion, we're praying. We should slip out without a sound. <laughs> That's not really funny to anyone but you, bud. Uh, bedtime. Crom doesn't need a map. By all of Mariakia's trumpets, we're doomed. Though, I must hang on. Hey, you! Do you feel sleepy? Dang, a guard. Sleepy? Uh, no. I mean, depends. Should I be? The curse of Dlul is spreading all over. We're all gonna fall into eternal slumber. Oh, that means sleepover, right? But I didn't bring my pajamas. Is it okay if I'm naked? Stay focused. Keep the blood in your nose. What's this about a curse? Those are f up at the inn. Because of the rookies. The rookies? Young recruits who were patrolling. We've been hiring so many of them. You can't really train them like you should. We've had a lot of casualties. I'm not sure I understand. Dad, I must stay awake. A prayer to Euclid will help you get through this plebeian torpor. It's... Uh, okay. I must admit it, it helped. Anyways, there was a quarrel between the recruits and Dlul's clergy. Dlul, god of slumber and boredom. Oh, oh. Dang it. We've been cursed too. I'm yawning. I told you, the rookies disturbed the lazy ass's nap, who then cursed the whole dungeon. This is bad. If we fall asleep forever, how are we gonna make progress on our quest? Help me out, and I will reward you. <laughs> wow, Toot, he fell asleep. We should try to learn more about this curse. Let's keep our eyes peeled and try, dang it, to stay awake. I feel like we're going in circles. Ah, good stammit. The executive committee of performance indications management is going to be late. What? I'm sorry, but the room is unavailable due to extenuating circumstances. It has been requisitioned by the clergy of Dulul for worship. Weird location for a mass. Let's just say they needed some quiet. But what am I supposed to do now to prepare for the executive committee, huh? Nobody ever thinks about us servants. Because nobody gives a f about you minions. Pretty job. 
drawing? What is it? Thus, my brothers and sisters, Lul shall wrap the world with the quilt of oblivion, and all shall yawn and be bedbound. Thus shall begin the era of bathrobes, slippers, and potatoes on couches. Look, the lulls, ho ho, cultist. Oh, Chrome likes to sleep sometimes. Damn, they're good. Just looking at them makes me... <laughs> come, come, come sleep with us. Uh, I could do with a quick nap under a tree. Euclid doesn't approve of your chaotic clergy. While it's true that the ill need some sleep, Dlul's nap is a lethal boredom that we must fight. By the great cushion of eternal naps, to violate the nap is an ungodly sin. To me, lose lazy asses. By Glue's pillow. <sighs> I got first blood. <sighs> Bedtime. Useless, hideous beast. Uh, didn't hurt. My turn. Oh, man. See that one coming, did you?
Huh? What happened? Fame and glory to mercenaries. Or a dagger to Vespeen. Dalzabeto Navalu. I missed. Wind got in my eyes. Also, I may have farted. <laughs> and boom! Fly away! Bedtime! Uh. My turn, damn it! Toga, Swala, Bodwaza! Gala Durakshovo! Bed time. Snooze this one out.
Big time! <laughs> Huh? Well, it tastes bad. Reminds me of my granny's soup. You can't see me.
Bedtime. Oh. Bedtime. I shall take a nap. Bid time. <laughs> Big time! <laughs> I shall take a nap.
دل زب تو نولو The ranger leveled up. The elf leveled up. No better way to wake yourself up than a good smack. Turns out, Krom hates naps. So we're not cursed anymore? The curse only targeted the guards, but I think we screwed up. What do you mean, f It's not like wizardry. The Dalal enlightened ask for a divine intervention. Oh. By killing him, we've ensured that the curse can never be canceled. Next time, tell us beforehand, you wand wanker. Well, I was quite sleepy. Oh. Anywho, let's get our reward. There's always a silver lining. The guards will stay asleep. A real leader needs real skills. This is way more useful than stuffing chairs.
Better than nothing is still better. not much. Great! How about a hug? I've got some nuts for the squirrels! Oh, for me? Oh, thank you! Mwah. Exactly what I needed. Fine craftsmanship, and could be pawned for a nice amount. Akula yum yum. 